Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find and build a comprehensive list of negative keywords using three tools. Some of them you would know, maybe some of them you haven't seen, to build a good comprehensive list of negative keywords. Now, as you can see, I'm currently in my Google Ads test account, and I'm gonna go straight to my first tool for this tutorial, and that is, of course, the Google Ads Keyword Planner. So I'm gonna head over there now by going to Tools, and then go to Keyword Planner. Now there are two options within the keyword planner. You have to you have the option to find new keywords and also the option to get search volume and forecasts for keywords from a list you've already built. Now, for the purposes of this, I'm going to find new keywords to see which keywords match to my potential campaign search terms that I don't want to appear for. So, as you can see, I've already got history here of plumber, so we're going to continue with that. So, I'm going to, I'm going to pretend I am a plumber and I want to find out which keywords could trigger my ads that I don't want to show up for. So by entering plumber as a keyword, you'll see that data gets built in this list using the Google Ads Keyword Planner. Now in this list, you'll see tons and tons of search terms within here related to plumbing and plumbers. Now this is a great way to see all of the data Google has on terms surrounding plumbing in the UK. So anything in this list, any elements of keywords within this list that you don't like or you don't want to trigger your ads, then you should add those as a negative keyword. So let me show you what I mean by that. First things first, I'm gonna download all of the keyword ideas here, just clicking this button. So as you'll see, that's now downloaded. I'm gonna open that now. It's gone over to my other screen. I'm just gonna bring that over. So here is my keyword plan from all of the terms related to plumbing in the UK. So I've now deleted the top rows, I've opened up the keyword area here, so all of the keywords are listed here. And I'm gonna delete some of these columns just because it, it'll make the data easier to see. So these ones I'll get rid of here as well. And I'm gonna put some filters in place as well. Now, if you highlight the top row, and then just make that a different color so it's a nice filtered bit of data. And I'm also gonna freeze the top row as well. So as we scroll down, the top row will remain static. So freeze panes, freeze the top row. Perfect, okay, so now this is all the data related to terms related to plumbing and the kind of things I probably don't want to show for will be within this list. A lot of them would be brand names, a lot of them will simply be terms that aren't relevant or maybe they're not relevant to the type of plumbing I do. Either way, the best way to do this is to look at all of these keywords, some of which will be good for you, some of which will be bad for you, and have a scan through and see which ones you want to remove from your campaign. So next, I'm gonna start looking at some of these keywords I want to remove, and I'm gonna add them to a notepad file. So I've got an open notepad file here. And for example, if I wanted to remove, for example, pipe as a keyword, because I don't want to show for the term pipe, or maybe even plumbing pipe, I'd select that keyword and then drop it into my notepad file and repeat this activity across all of these different types of keywords. So for example, a lot of these are brand names like Plumbing Force and then Compass Plumbing. And now all of these are actually things that could trigger your ads. So it's important to use this tool to find anything within, I guess, the remit of your campaign that could trigger your ads that you don't want to show for. So I'm gonna go ahead now and start selecting a lot of these keywords that I don't want to show for, and then I'll be back in a moment. Okay guys, so normally I would continue building a negative keyword list from all of these terms. It's a very long process, and it's meant to be a long process because ultimately you need to make sure you're not blocking yourself out from searches you want to show for. So it's really important you take your time with this, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I've simply gone ahead and highlighted some of them that I wouldn't necessarily want to show for. Now. All of these terms I don't want to show for. Sometimes I would want to do an exact match negative, meaning if someone types in exactly what's shown in each of these keywords, I don't want to show for. But then what if there's a slight variation on some of these exact terms that are put in? So if someone types in James Hargreaves plumbing and I had it as an exact match negative, what if someone types in James Hargreaves plumbing contact? Then in that example, I'd want to make James Hargreaves a negative in itself as well. So use this to also continue to build out your negative keyword list. Your negative keyword list should be really extensive. So by doing this activity and going through with a fine tooth comb, all of the things that you don't want to show for, and then building on that by adding additional keywords. So for example, I would actually add 
as a negative keyword as well. And then you won't even necessarily need that whole one there actually because every variation of James Hargreaves and in fact, you could go even further and just type in James. So the idea is you want to continue to build out your keyword list and make sure that you do block searches, I guess, that you don't want your ads to show for. Right. Up next, I'm gonna show you another method using another third party tool. So the Google Keyword Planner is a great tool. The only problem with this tool though, however, is it will only pull through keywords where Google holds data. So if there's a keyword that doesn't have any data because it's searched so infrequently, it wouldn't show up in the keyword planner. So you might go through all of those keywords I showed you previously. And even with all of those negative that you, that you don't want to show for, you still have a potential of showing for other terms that you know Google doesn't hold data on. So in order to do that, you need to leverage Google's autocomplete and use that data and when you use that data, it will allow you to find terms that are searched very infrequently. So in order to do that, I use a tool called keywordtool.io. You can see the URL up at the top here. And this is a great tool for finding keywords based on Google's autocomplete. So if I were to go onto here and type in plumber, what you'll see when this loads is an autocomplete index of all the terms around plumber. So 641, now a lot of these terms won't have any search volume according to Google because of course Google's data in the Keyword Planner only shows keywords with volume because it's for creating and finding positive keywords to bid on in the auction as well as finding negative keywords. So as you can see, keywordtool.io is a paid for tool. So the free version doesn't give you any search volume data, but it's fine for what we want to use it for today because all we want to do is see which terms are relevant and which terms are not relevant. So in order to use this tool and ex export the data, because of course with a free account, you can't export the data. It's a bit of a long process, but it's something I still advise you would do. And you can go to copy and export all and export to CSV. Now I'm gonna open this data and you'll see here the whole exhaustive list is here of all of the terms using the Google Autocomplete API. And this is a very extensive list and you'll see there will be some that will cross over with what you've already got in from the Keyword Planner. But what you'll find is there'll be tons in here as well that you wouldn't find in the Keyword Planner simply because the Autocomplete finds keywords that have been previously searched but don't necessarily have high search volume. So you can start seeing quite a few of these here. And even though you know they don't have high search volume and the likelihood of your ads getting clicked off the back of one of these terms is relatively low, you still want to make sure you're maximizing your, your, your campaigns and you're reducing the risk of any negative clicks that will waste your budget. So ultimately, it might take a long time to do this, but you'll thank yourself in the long run when you start your campaigns from day one and they're getting great traffic because you're, you're blocking out all of the irrelevant terms. So again, same activity, here's my notepad file. Go through and find anything that doesn't meet the needs of your campaign, anything that's not relevant, and then negative those out. And then again, when you find the ones you want to negative out, use that data to build on. So again, as I said with James Hargreaves plumbing, I can just use James Hargreaves, and in addition to that, I could just have James and Hargreaves as negative keywords, and then that's not even needed anymore. So this is the process you need to go through to find negative keywords in your account. And it's a very long process, but it needs to be done. And then the final method I want to share with you for finding negative keywords in your account as a quick way of doing it. If you don't want to invest this much time and you just want to find the most popular auto-completed terms without having any data, head straight over to Google. Now with Google, I'm simply going to type in plumber. And then as soon as you go click back on the search box, you'll see that the autocomplete will open most relevant to where you, where you are. So if you press space and then type A, it will show you every single top search term from the auto suggestions that people type into Google. So A shows you the top A's and then of course you've got B, then you've got C and of course you go through the whole alphabet and you can find any terms in there that don't necessarily meet your, your needs. Now, this is the same data you'll see in the keyword IO tool. However, if you don't want to spend a lot of time going through every single term in that respect, you can use this as well as an additional method to find negative keywords that might be a bit easier for you, might be quicker for you. 
but ultimately I prefer using the keyword IO tool to do this and go through in a lot more detail. But ultimately these are the three areas you can find negative keywords and your negative keyword list should be long. It should be extremely long. And I think, you know, a lot of the time people think of campaign targeting as choosing the right keywords only. But the problem with the lack of negative keywords and relying purely on your positive keyword match types is you might be missing out on loads of relevant searches as well by restricting your match types too much. So by building a negative keyword list that's comprehensive, you have an opportunity to find new keywords and expand on your current keyword list as well. So it gives you the best of both worlds. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and you can go ahead and build some really good keyword lists or should I say negative keyword lists if you like the video, please leave a like below. Let me know in the comments if you need help building your negative keyword lists. I reply to pretty much every comment I get across YouTube and LinkedIn. And more important than that, check out the other videos across my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next video.